snap. Oh. Hey, what's up? It's Megan Nicole, and I'm so excited because today I am partnering with Gillette Venus for this video, and my mom is here. Everyone say hi to my mom, Tammy. Hello. Thanks for being on my channel. Welcome. Gillette Venus is all about bringing moms and daughters together to share first moments. So my mom has obviously been there through a lot of my first, my first steps, my first words, my first song, and my first show. Fourth grade talent show. Singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow in my little black shirt with a big giant like rose in the front <laughs> and a bow in the back. You were also there for all the awkward firsts that I went through during that crazy awkward transition of my life from the first time I wore makeup to first time buying undergarment specific ones and the first time that I ever shaved my legs as yes. well. My biggest concern is to make sure that you were safe so that you had the right techniques and the right easy to use razor. I just remember basically you like you handed me the razor and the shaving cream and you were like, okay, just do it this way. And you said I could only like go up to like the knee. Yes, I think that was passed down from my mother. And after we got through that transition in life, you also helped me through just a lot of first as I continue to grow up. And just even as an adult, I feel like as I, I face new challenges, you're always there to, to help and guide me and, and just have open conversation there. And guys, don't be afraid to, to talk to your parents about certain situations or first in your lives and you know, Chances are they've been through the exact same thing, so they're able to, to guide you and help you through that. You remember the first video I posted when I was 16? I do, I remember it well. And the, how that conversation went? Uh, it was a week-long debate, actually, in the house. Actually, my dad was the one who kind of encouraged me to you know, use YouTube as a platform to share my music on. And so me and dad were like all about it. We're like, yeah, 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 we're gonna, we're gonna make a video and we're gonna do this cover and you know, we're gonna post it. Do you remember when we would sit there and like refresh the button to watch uh, the views? Oh, oh, I thought you were gonna say how it took uh, two hours to record one song. Oh, that too. <laughs> Everybody in the house had to be quiet. Quiet on set, quiet on set. <laughs> I had to do like so many takes just for that one video. Yeah, it actually involved the whole family. <laughs> yeah, and it still does. Well, since you've gotten me through so many firsts in my life, I thought it'd be fun to teach you something for the first time. I'm going to teach you how to play guitar today. Oh, that sounds exciting. Are you excited? I think, yeah, I think so. And if any of you guys at home have a guitar, be sure to grab your guitars and play along with us. Here we go. <laughs> I'm the first time teacher too as well, so it's a lot of firsts today. Okay, I already got you tuned up, but your standard tuning so you know, E, A, D, G, B, E. So the chords that I'm going to be teaching you guys today, as well as my mom for the first time, are C at nine, G, and D. You can use these three chords for a lot of songs, as well as build your own song. Mom, you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Okay. So the first chord that I'm going to teach you is C add nine. What you're gonna to wanna to do is take your pinky and put it on your high E, which is, if you're looking at your guitar, it looks like the bottom string to you on your third fret. There you go. Then you're gonna take your ring finger and put it just on the string right above that. Your middle finger is still going to be along the third fret and it's going to be on your A string. And then your pointer finger is just going to go near the second fret on your D string. Beautiful. Yay! Now, for your G chord, you're going to keep your pinky and ring finger exactly where they are and just move your middle finger and pointer up one string each. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> you have now learned how to play C at nine and G. You just need one more chord in order to play basically half the songs that I have. <laughs> I'm going to teach you one more. We're going to learn the D chord. So, leaving your fingers again where they are Lift up your pinky finger, get rid of that one, we don't need it for this chord. Take your middle finger and put it on the bottom string on the second fret. And it's going to be on your high E string. And then you're going to take this finger, your pointer finger, and put it on the G string. And strum. Hey! You hey. just played a D chord! I played a D chord. Yay! <laughs> and you just played a D chord! Congratulations! <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Not so bad, no. 
I'm kind of impressed. I think that maybe I got some of my musical skills. Maybe they're they're buried deep inside. Yeah, deep inside, inside you. <laughs> <laughs> With some practice, as well as you guys, if you just keep practicing and working on these three chords. Um, and then you can eventually learn more. Thanks for always being so patient with me through all my first times, through my first step, my first word, my first time in the studio, the first time I shaved my legs. For those of you getting ready for that first shave, be sure to check out the link right here or in the description box below for helpful information on your first time shave. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Give it the only thumbs up. Thumbs up.